Hey everyone, welcome to the show. As I always say, Republicans are absolutely convinced that Democrats are cheating in elections because they know that they are voting illegal, that they're doing shady stuff. So it's their guilty conscience. That's what it's all about. And this story I'm going to share with you right now is a perfect representation of that fact. Brian Pritchard is the Republican Party's first vice chairman in the state of Georgia. And last week, a judge ruled that Pritchard voted illegally on nine separate occasions. Not only that, but Pritchard has a criminal history, which is why his votes were illegal. So evidently, Pritchard has been on probation for felony check forgery. Back in 1996, he pleaded guilty. He was forging and depositing checks. He forged and deposited $38,000 worth of checks. These were checks from the construction company where he was employed at the time. So he was literally stealing from his employer. So Pritchard wasn't allowed to vote legally. And of course, this guy is a major election denier. In addition to being a chairman for the Georgia Republican Party, he's also a conservative talk show host, and he's totally pushed con the conspiracy theories about the election being stolen in 2020. But in his case, Pritchard claims, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Pritchard told a judge he had no idea that he was still on probation when he cast all of these votes. Pritchard says that he believed his probation ended in 1999. But the state was able to provide evidence to the court showing that Pritchard's probation had to be repeatedly revoked because he just failed to make his restitution payments, just didn't pay his debt back. So Pritchard's probation was extended, check this out, all the way through 2011, 12 years. So Georgia state prosecutors also told uh, the court Pritchard knew damn well that he was still on probation because they say he appeared for several probation revocation hearings. They said 1999 he showed up, which is the one he agrees with, but they say he also appeared in court in 2002 and 2004, which he argues with. He says, no, I wasn't there, but apparently they convinced the court somehow. Um, they also told the court, quote, when he came to Georgia, he was aware that he was registering to vote illegally. He knew when he went in all nine times and signed that voter cert certificate, he was voting illegally. So the judge didn't buy Pritchard's excuses and at his sentencing hearing, Judge Lisa Bogg said, quote, the court does not find the respondent's explanations credible or convincing. At the very least, even if the court accepts he did not know about his felony sentences, the record before this court demonstrates that he should have known. So unfortunately, she gives this guy little more than a slap on the wrist. Absolutely insane. Pritchard was fined $500 for each of his nine illegal votes. So $4,500, and then she ordered him to pay another $500 for his illegal voter registration. That's it. No prison time, no probation. Compare that to other cases that we've seen. This is just such complete and total BS. And surprisingly, Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Trader Greene called for Pritchard's immediate resignation. I was pretty shocked by that. I mean, this is her state, but she said, quote, our state party should be the leading voice on securing our elections. It is unacceptable for our party to have a man in leadership who has repeatedly committed voter fraud himself. I mean, as they say, a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> so that was one of her two times, <laughs> but I have no doubt he's not going to resign. The party is not going to remove him. They don't care. They don't care. They are the biggest hypocrites on the planet. So if I hear any more, if by some miracle something happens and yeah, they remove him, I will let you know, but don't hold your breath. <laughs>
All right. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon. <laughs>